On this episode of Searching for History, we took a day trip into the desert. We visited the Tuzigoot National Monument, made a quick stop in Jerome, Arizona, drove down to Montezuma Castle, followed by a stop at the Yavapai County Courthouse Plaza in Prescott, Arizona. We then returned to Sun City West. Please join us as we visit this beautiful part of Arizona. Apparently we got here six minutes early. per person. I'm trying to get a shady spot. Okay. Not like it's going to stay shady, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From rubble to reconstruction, so it's been reconstructed. can see why they would build their pueblo here. Yeah, you can really seek out. You know, defensive position. We have water down below in the valley. The earliest people to arrive in this valley are dated to as early as 13,000 years ago. 1,500 years ago, people settled more permanently. When first discovered in the early 1930s, the hill appeared strewn with rubble with the Pueblo Lane hidden. In 1935 to 1936, the ruins were consolidated and reconstructed and prepared for public display. The ruin of the Pueblo is located in the Verde Valley. Built around 1,000 years ago, the Pueblo was occupied for about 300 to 400 years and then abandoned. The name Tuzigut was chosen by the workers that reconstructed the ruin and it means crooked lake or crooked water and comes from the Tonto Apache name for Pex Lake, which is a nearby natural cut off river meander. From a few rooms on the hilltop, the Pueblo grew to 110 rooms. The Pueblo is an unplanned conglomeration of occupation rooms that were built over time. Evidence indicates that rooms were built on and over earlier rooms, rebuilding and reutilization of the same spaces makes it impossible to identify stages of growth. The Pueblo was built of irregular blocks of soft limestone and limey sandstone. The interiors of the rooms were plastered with a red sandy clay. With few exceptions, almost every room had a fireplace. Most rooms appear to have been used for both living and storage. I just have to wonder how accurate is this reconstruction or like are these rooms really where each room was? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think if Hopefully. they're basing it on where they're finding hard fires, maybe. Yeah, and they should have, at least the, the mm -hmm. base of all these walls were probably still intact.
almost like being in a castle. There's Jerome way over there. Wow. I'm freaking out. It almost is like being in a castle. I mean, this is an amazing site. I guess that, like, they found their refuse pile on this side. But there was the floodplain is on that side, too. I mean, there's a river coming down this way. Yeah. You're saying down this slope is where they threw the refuse? Right. So there's probably were a lot of artifacts down there. But it seems like they were doing that in part because it wasn't just that the river came through there. It flooded all the way around it, or up, up here. So I wonder if they grew maize around they here. Did. They grew did they? maize, beans, and they were domesticating agave. So there's different forms of hybridized agave all around here. Yeah, so probably the, the flats around here are the grew maize. You know what I mean? All of this area. Yeah. I wonder what kind of beans. I wonder how they got water to it all. I think they had to have been... Well... The archaeologists seem to have asserted that a lot of that area over there was flooding okay. often enough for them to not really have to worry about irrigation, but huh. maybe on the other sides they had to actually do irrigation. See, they were using this red arg argulite yeah. instead of like an ochre like the Europeans used. But it was a red pigment. Mm -hmm. So they had, they had a blue, a green, and a red. Apparently what you're seeing out there was a strip mine that um, was then filled back in uh, around 2006. So it looks like everything, um, all the flat down there, has been restored.
Now we are inside the Tuzigut Monument Museum. The museum was built in 1936. What you see here are the artifacts recovered during excavation of the Pueblo site. The site was first excavated between 1933 and 1934. During the excavation, many artifacts were recovered and the museum holds a collection of over 3,000 objects. A large number of these objects were pottery. Most of the pottery used at Tuzigut was not decorated, however, decorated pottery was found. Many stone projectile points were recovered. Animal and human figurines were also recovered. Other artifacts included spindle whorls, worked pot sherds, various objects and tools made of bone, and stone tools were recovered. Both manos and metates were found. A mano, a stone that is held by hand to move back and forth against a metate, a larger stone to grind maize. Additionally, jewelry and other types of artifacts were found. Driving up here, an arid climate perched up on a ridge, Jerome reminded me of an Italian town. However, it is an Old West town. Jerome is a town located in the Black Hills of Yavapai County, Arizona, at about 5,000 feet elevation. Built around the copper mining industry, Jerome had a post office by 1883 and grew to be incorporated as a town in 1899. By 1900, Jerome had brick buildings, electric lights, and thriving businesses. However, by the 1950s, the mining industry was gone 
and to save the town from disappearing, Drome turned to tourism. In 1967, Drome became a National Historic Landmark. Look, there's a church up there. See that? Yeah. The Holy Family Church. Well, this is pretty much one end of town. Jerome has a lot of quaint shops, restaurants, and art galleries to visit. My impression of the town is that it would be a great place to pick up some souvenirs from Arizona. For those interested, there are ghost and history walking tours. I would plan to get here in the morning because by noon it will be difficult to find parking. This place didn't make it. Bartlett Hotel. It's become a derelict building. It said it was removed in the 1950s. Swing doors, original entrance. Need a pick? Sort of a wheel that would have been uh, part of like a steam pump. Here's the other half.
FYI, when you pay for Tuzigoot, it also gets you into Montezuma Castle and vice versa. You should plan to go see both in one day since they are only about 20 minute drive from one another. Montezuma Castle is a grouping of well-preserved cliff dwellings built and used by the Sanagua people between 1100 and 1425 AD. That'd be a real challenge to get up there. Yeah. Do you think there were originally stairs up there or do they have ladders? Probably a mix of both. The main structure consists of five stories and about 20 rooms. Montezuma Castle is a misnomer as it has nothing to do with the Aztec Emperor Montezuma and it functioned more as a multi-family residence than a defensive structure like a castle. So apparently this is the main cliff dwelling but then further down there was more. The Hopi and Yavapai are descendants of the people that lived here. The people that lived in the cliff dwelling used a series of three ladders made of sycamore logs which were lashed together with rope made from yucca. Today the park service uses the same route the original people used to place ladders and access the dwelling. Today you can see marks left in the limestone from years of usage by the original inhabitants placing their ladders and going in and out of the dwelling. The same route was used to build the cliff dwelling as the entire structure was hauled up there. Conservation of the structure is done as needed. Once or twice a year, archaeologists and park service staff inspect the building to see if the physical integrity of the structures is changing. Well, that's, this is interesting. Here's all the sites in the whole valley. Right. Five floors. Yeah, so there was a lot more here. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a huge complex. Yeah, we don't have a mesquite. Yeah, so it went all the way up to that upper floor there, where you can see some adobe bricks. Yeah. Not a lot left in this one. Places were occupied. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, that, if the valley 
is like flooded significantly more. Yeah. There's another um, stone for grinding maize. Yeah. I think that's the extent of it. stagnant stream I guess Beaver Creek The Montezuma Castle Visitor Center has a small museum containing a collection of 116 archaeological, ethnological, and natural history artifacts and objects. the lady ermine who I like the 19th century um, stone and brick architecture so you get uh, kind of a neoclassical Georgian stuff yeah the Masonic temple and then the National Bank there. Uh -huh. 
The Yavapai County Courthouse Plaza is known as the Jewel of Downtown Prescott. Prescott's original 1864 town plat had the Courthouse Plaza at its center. Construction of the county courthouse that you see today began in 1916. The plaza sits in the middle of Prescott's historic district. Eleven of the buildings in the vicinity around the plaza are listed on the National Register of Historic Places.